want. Oh, wait. What's going on? Whoa. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kelly, and if you're new, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over the Demnin brush. The Dem, Dem, Dem. The Denman brush. It's like a tongue twister. So the Demnin brush is known for creating curls. It's also known for detangling. So you can use it for styling, you can use it for detangling. In this video, I'm gonna be using it for styling. So if you wanna know how I got this fro, this 80s results keep on watching so I'm starting things off with my hair soaking wet I have a leave-in conditioner and a styling gel inside now This is what the Denman brush looks like it originally comes with nine rows and in this demonstration I'm gonna put half with nine half I'm gonna take out some rows to see like what's the difference between you know the curls like how the curls lay it is made out of plastic then there's like this rubber plastic thing right here too and then it has like a hard solid brush on the back this brand is actually goody and i've owned this brush since i was like you know like born practically so i'm just gonna get straight into it with showing you the nine rows on the left hand side so let's see how this turns out this is what my curls look like before that's just what they look like and now I'm just gonna do my whole head with this. I'll start off with the bottom. Maybe I'll do section by section. You know, let's try this out. So in the shower, I just finger detangled my hair, so that's enough. But I do notice a lot of the product is on the brush. I mean, I put a lot of product in, so I don't know if that's a good thing yet or a bad thing. And I'm only gonna assume the more times that you brush it, the more product that leaves your hair and actually goes onto the brush. So I wouldn't brush it too much. I combed out my hair really quick from that. Oh, look at this. And yeah, I feel like more product needs to go in the front of my head. I guess I didn't put enough. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. But I'm just gonna let this sit. Look how cute the curls are though. Okay, now that I've cleaned the Denman brush so that now I can do this side of the hair, I'm gonna remove this part. I'm gonna push this up. This is my first time actually doing this, so I'm going to push this up. I'm going to open up this, and I'm going to pull out every other row. So look, watch. I'm going to take out this one, take out that one, that one, and this one. Okay, so now instead of nine, I have five. I'm going to put this back in here oh that was easy look <laughs> and now I could do this side so again this side is just extremely soaked in a whole bunch of product <gasps> the shrinkage is so real look at this my hair falls naturally when it's wet like this and with the Denman brush with nine rows it shrinks this much alrighty so let's do five I'm gonna start off with this on the bottom I have a feeling I'm going to like this side better only because I'm predicting that it won't be as short when it dries. I mean, I definitely feel the rose missing, if that makes any sense. I guess if you did it, you would feel it too. This side was so much easier to detangle. This side is harder. Oh my god, look at all the product. Wow. I don't know if I could go the whole day like this. <laughs> oh, I like this though on this side. So I do notice a lot more hair loss on this side with only five rows compared to this side. This was much more harder to detangle. Um, with the styling products in my hair, who knows if in the shower it feels a little different. Let me know in the comment section below if you want a Denman brush in the shower detangling routine okay so now i'm gonna let this baby air dry in my hair i might diffuse if it's taking too long but i will be right back with the results so i did put makeup on but this is 30 minutes of it air drying and now i feel like this side is evening to this but this is still like a little longer or whatever my hair right now feels very stiff like there's little to no movement i mean actually it looks like there's movement but it feels very like i can't move right now <laughs> I do think that if I diffuse or continue to let it air dry, that it's only gonna like become like this. All right, so this is an hour and a half of it air drying and uh, it is hard and crunchy. Let's see what happens when I shake it up. 
Oh my god, I don't know if you could hear that. It's still wet. Oh, wait. What's going on? Oh my gosh. <gasps> I'm not really seeing a difference of the five column and the nine column, but I'm just gonna diffuse to kind of speed it up. Okay, so I diffused my hair and these are the results. Um, I feel like there is not much of a difference. Okay, yes, yeah, so I did the Denman brush for styling purposes, but this I would not wear outside at all. Um, this was really just to compare the five column to the nine column and the curls look the same. The only thing that I would say which is good with the Denim brush is if you want like consistency about like your curls. I would more or less like if you had like straggly showing that weren't curling right I would just take this brush and like just brush those certain curls. But for my hair texture I really don't need the Denim brush. Maybe if my hair was longer. I would like it, but I mean right now it just like came out really fluffy and I don't think this is the styling products because I've used these styling products before and this is not my result, so it's definitely the brush that did that. Would I recommend it to you? I mean only if your hair doesn't curl naturally or you need help with making it curl better. I am going to try it just for detangling purposes only. Like I've tried it before but it's been a while. Nine columns like without taking out the rows or the columns um, was so much better when I was like combing it through my hair so I did like that. But I look like I am going back into the 80s. <laughs> it's like so fro -y. I was not expecting that. I would say I expected less amount of frizz for my results but I do see the definition the curl kind. I do see the shine. I don't know if that's from the product or the way that I applied the Demnim brush. It doesn't look dry, but I do see the frizz. Will the Demnim brush work for you? If you hate shrinkage, no. And would I do this again? When my hair's longer, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so that wraps it up for this video. If you have any questions, comments, if this video even helped, it was very interesting. It was like such like a cool test. But anyway, if it helped you out, make sure that you subscribe down below. Or please write in the comment section if you've ever tried this brush before or any other techniques I should try. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe, maybe not. So that does it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. <laughs> Bye. Whoa.